Hello, 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 and welcome to another episode of the Crazy Town Podcast. My name is Jonas, I'm your host, and I'm here with TNT Dynamite, the explosive one, TNT, the I-N-O, M-I-G-H-T. What's going on, Jonas? Dude, the same old-ish, different week, different day. Right? Yeah, man. We're making babies out here in the streets. Making babies? Yeah, dude. (laughs) That's what's happening? I'm not. They're saying that uh, the influx of like the oh, what were they gonna call them, dude? The children that were conceived due to the incident. What about the divorces? Well, yeah, were... I was going to get into that too. But oh, okay, they were talking about I can't remember what the corennials or something. Corennials, dude! <laughs> Holy <laughs> shit! <laughs> That's <laughs> kind of fucked up. <laughs> well, I mean, people are either fucking or getting divorced right now. <laughs> right? They're like, I can't stand your face, or let's bang all day. Or both. Fair enough. <laughs> but thank you so much for joining us on the Crazy Town Podcast today. Please make sure to subscribe on our YouTube channel, Crazy Town Media. And, uh, or if you don't want to go to YouTube because you hate it, uh, Spotify or iTunes or any other place you can hear podcasts, look for the Crazy Town Podcast. Hey, you're missing out on that YouTube, I'm telling you. Perennials. You're missing out. It was something like that. Yeah. Yeah. You know, another meme thing I've heard is the, the Quarantine 15. What is that? It's like the freshman 15, but because you're quarantined at home, you're going to gain 15 pounds. <laughs> oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> like, yeah, yeah. you know, usually you go away to college, you gain 15 pounds because you're eating bad. Yeah. You're, you're stuck at home, you're going to gain 15 pounds. Flattening the curve or fattening my curves. <laughs> <laughs> oh, right. <laughs> One of the two. Exactly. Yeah, so, yeah. yeah, man, we're trying to bring you some shit that isn't about the incident uh, so we can have you have something to listen to out here in the streets. Yeah. It's hard not to talk about it. I know. It really is. But you know what? I talk like, enough about it that I don't want to talk about it. It's like it, it's it's we we are in historic times and it's yeah. hard not to acknowledge that. But yeah. that's that's what we're here for. Yeah, exactly. So, so I'm going to bite my tongue. Yep. And I'm going to hold my horses. Yeah, dude, I held a horse once. Did you? Yeah, dude. You were in a horse? Dude. Oh my god, you have. I've have not. Okay. But my neighbor, my grandma's neighbor. Another neighbor story. My grandma's neighbor. I know, right? <laughs> three, ep- trend. three episodes. I know, over. right? Uh, they had uh, they had horses. It's what in their living room? No, like in their barn. And the like, fuck does your grandmother live on a farm? She lived out in the country. Oh, okay. and her neighbor had like a lot of land, and they had like a barn, and they had some horses. So I used to screw around. We we go and feed the horses and stuff. Don't you gotta be? A yeah, you can't more. say screw the horses, screw around. <laughs> and then there was a, a girl that I knew in high school that I hung out with, and she had a horse. And I went with her one time to go see her horse, and <laughs> my <laughs> see her horse. Yeah, dude, she went to go feed it, and I went with her. And then my grandmother's sister had a horse that was blind. A blind horse. Like I, when I, I remember as a child growing up, because its eyes they were like all cloudy, like one of those like marbles. It's like blue and white kind of swirl. Yeah, I know what you're but that about. was their whole eye, and I was like, wow. And they're like, yeah, it's blind. It can't see. It's like cataracts or something. Yeah, exactly. Dude. So, but no, have you ever ridden a horse? Absolutely not, Jones. I'm city boy, man. Yeah, <laughs> I don't. I don't. We don't do that. We don't do that. We don't do that here. Your culture? <laughs> we don't. Do- I didn't say anything about culture, even though it's absolutely true. <laughs> <laughs> I didn't say anything about it, but no, I'm not riding a horse, dude. What for? Why? We got cars now <laughs> that have horsepower. Yeah, you can ride like 80 horses at once in a car. Like, I, just, I don't, I don't, I don't know why you want to. Why would you want to ride a horse? I don't really like horses that much, dude. They're scary, right? Yeah, dude. Because they're like big. They're big, dude. Oh yeah, if they fell on you, they would break you right they're large well, n- not to mention a kick right Dude. they would li- if they kicked you on the side of the kneecap ah! Ah! <laughs> gone I need my knees. Fucking kneecap gone, dude. I need those. What is the most horrifying scenario involving a horse that you can think of? Jonas. <laughs> We're not. No. Okay. So for the first story. <laughs> I love when I just get you to just. Yeah, because you said the most horrible and I'm like. Oh, horrifying. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Thank you for that. I'm going to have nightmares. <laughs> I didn't even tell you and I have nightmares. Yeah, dude. Uh, so uh, Moscow, Jonas. Oh, dude, shit's getting real over there. Yeah, they got some issues, too, with the whole things that are happening. 
Um, but they found a way to innovate because it is the time of year where uh, one of their theaters out there, uh, a lot of unsigned talent, a lot of uh, new arrivals. Theater like uh, Broadway type theater? Yeah, it's okay. like uh, in like music, uh, classical music. Like or thespians. Not, yeah, like like musicians, orchestra, stuff okay. like that. Either a ballet as well because mm, okay. they they have a very uh, I saw a really fucked up movie about about culture and ballet. What did you see about? Ballet? I'll tell you about the movie when we're done. Okay, yeah, they have a very rich culture and ballet over there, which is a uh, I don't know, it's kind of their thing. Um, but obviously, at this time of year, they can't get a lot of people over there. Now, I've heard that uh, a lot of uh, other businesses have taken this kind of model where they've just decided to start streaming their services if it's like. Strip clubs, Jonas. There was a strip club, a couple different strip clubs that were streaming their services on like IG. Oh, Live. they would just use like a like a like a cam girl sort of like payment system or something. I guess it is, but I'm like, you know, why would Pornhub, you, why Pornhub would you, is like free this month, right? Yeah, it was. And why wouldn't you just like go to a cam girl who's going to do more than just dance on a pole for you? Yeah. Anyways, but I mean, I guess it maybe it's just for like the whole ambiance of being in a strip. Club. Right, right. No, no, I get it. I mean, they got to do what they can to make money. Yeah, like because. People ain't out there and spending exactly. money. So this theater's decided to start streaming their performances. Okay. Which is pretty basic. Yeah. I wonder if like Broadway in New York did it. Like if people would like I have a feeling that people would watch a Broadway show Dude, streaming. I would love to. And I wouldn't have to leave the house. Like we're not gonna get into Anyways. It. But this these are like some ideas. It's like, why the fuck has nobody ever done this before? Like right, what you? They're missing out. Right, right, right. Honestly. Well, because like they could a sold out show, they could then sell tickets online for half price, and you could just watch it online, watch it online instead. Yep, and they would make so much. Money. Oh, for sure. Hmm. Interesting. Anyway, maybe maybe a taste of the future. Yeah. Right. Uh. So, but that's still the okay. So, but these people are still going to be performing in the theater. Right. Right. Which I think breaks. Some rules about groups of ten or more empty but, <laughs> empty audience. <laughs> well, shows. that's the thing; they're not going to have an audience at right. these shows. But they have decided that they will have one ticket sold at each of these shows, so one person can so go. So it'll be an audience of one. That'd be kind of cool, dude. I think so too. But like, they should at least done two, so like a couple can go. This big. I saw the pictures of this theater. They could easily fit like fifty people and keep them within like six feet of each other. But uh, once right. again, there's yeah, like well, it's, it's but it's lot, like, but. who's gonna go by themselves? You know, like the girlfriend's gonna want to bring their boyfriend. So, yeah. So it's like, nah, you should be sheltered. Uh, yeah, I don't know. I would love to. Like, I've gone to a movie by myself. Oh, I do. I've done that numerous and times, and I'll, I'll absolutely love it. Well, you don't really talk to your friends when you're at the movie anyway. Yeah, I'm not that guy. Yeah, I don't either. Like, I don't. So going by yourself or going. That's why I always thought going on a date to the movie theater was a stupid date. It is. Because, like, I get dinner, but then why go to sit in a dark room where you don't talk after that? I mean. I mean. Yeah, okay, I mean, I don't, I don't, I don't. <laughs> you could just, like, see the smile going across my face as I reminisced about a time where oh, it was a movie theater. I reminisced about a time about a movie right, theater, Thank too. you. Yeah, Mental fist bump. <laughs> Six feet. I know why you go in there in the dark. You see that movie has been out there a real long time. You go to the back row. She's like, she's like, didn't this movie come out in January? And you're like, oh, no, I heard it's good. We should go to this one. Oh, man. I <laughs> oh, some... we're the only one here. I uh, dropped some popcorn in my lap. Let's <laughs> <laughs> play a game called No Hands. Hungry, hungry hippos. <laughs> Call back. Yeah, dude. But that'd be cool. Like to be an audience of one. I wonder how much they're charging for that one ticket. Uh, I don't know, man. I, I assume like standard price, but I, I'm not sure. I, like who who's going to buy that one ticket? Right. Well, then they go in there and they're sick. <laughs> <laughs> the one man they let in. I mean, parking wouldn't be an issue, at least. Yeah, right. Huh. Yeah, dude. That's but either way. It was interesting, and I was just like, yeah, I wonder if other people start employing this. Maybe, uh, you know, while still maintaining the protocols that that we need, uh, but doing the online thing and maybe just like selling one ticket. <laughs> yeah, right. Who like, if I can go and see Young Thug right now with one ticket, and I'm the only person in the audience, hell yes, Jonas. Yeah, that's the way to get me to go to a concert. Say I will be the only person. <laughs> there's there. like a whole pit. You're just you thrashing around oh, in a circle. Dude, I would. I feel like I would see just about anybody. If you were like, "Hey, Nickelback's performing," be like, "Nah," be like, "You'd be the only person in the audience." I'd be like, nah. 
I mean, at least I could throw a bottle of water at him. <laughs> <laughs> they wouldn't know it was you. <laughs> I'd act all nonchalant after I threw it. Right, right. All right. So, there was a woman who was pregnant with a baby. Imagine that, Jones. Yeah, they, they have babies sometimes. Imagine that. So, they went in for the 16-week ultrasound, four months. And they realized that the baby had a sacrococcygeal teratoma. Do you, do Sac- you know what that is? It's sacral. Um, yeah, I know where it's sacral. What was the other Sacrococcygeal. Cochleal. 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 Teratoma. Teratoma is oof. Uh, I know the term. I know. I know you've heard them before. <laughs> I've heard of cochleal. All right. Yeah. Well, either way, tell the viewers. Well, anyways, what that is is basically a it's an issue that happens with babies. Um, where I guess they get a tumor on their tailbone. I knew it was a freaking tumor, dude. I just didn't want to say it. And they get a tumor on their tailbone. And what can happen is it, it it will grow exponentially and eventually kill the child. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Um, so when this happened, the doctor advised the couple that they should terminate the pregnancy because it high risk for yeah, the mother, for yeah. the baby, for everybody. You can't do surgery on a right. on a newborn. So you say they did surgery on a newborn at twenty three weeks. They did surgery on a fetus. The tumor was the size of the baby. Holy. And it was literally dying inside her. No, I don't want to know if I want to hear the rest of this. Because there's only one way to get it out of there. So what they did is they basically did like a a C-section. And and they went into the womb. Uh, They took the baby out. uh, They removed the tumor. uh, (laughs) They put the baby back in. uh, they resealed up the womb oh. as tight as possible. Mm. They resealed up her stomach. Dude. And right. then the baby stayed in there for uh, 13 more weeks. All right, I'm done. And then they had then they had a C-section. They took the baby out. It was five pounds. Eight days after it was born, it had a small. second surgery to remove the rest of the tumor. They couldn't I get off. Still <laughs> All right, I'm done. Nope. And then... Nope. So essentially... This baby was born twice. This, yeah. <laughs> you got to talk. They can't hear you. I can, they can hear me fine, dude. You keep telling your story about your baby that got cut out in tumor tumor birth. Yeah, dude. Isn't that fucked up? Dude, it's, this is the thing. Yeah, yeah. So, so the fuck while I work in the medical field. I don't, I don't think about that kind of stuff, dude. Fucking surgery is crazy. That is a crazy story. Yeah, that they pulled a kid out of the womb to remove a... a Tumor the size of its body uh, and then put it back in. Can you imagine this knowing that you have like this living being and a tumor inside your body and they basically did a C section on a tumor? Yo. Yo. <laughs> the world is crazy. Yo. Dude. And and like people people don't understand, man. I've like seen surgeries. So if you've never seen a surgery, it's not as poetic as it sounds. It's oh, not no. Like, they're tugging and pulling on dude, ish. And yeah. yeah. They're not playing Chopin while they're like scalpel and making like precise cuts. No. Motherfucker. It's like you're cutting general area. <laughs> like right. Well, yeah. And they're like, oh, can't get these ribs open. Like, you know, it's like they yank and pull and tug. And doctors are amazing at what they do. But it's like the equivalent of being a mechanic for the human body. Right. So sometimes you just got to get out a wrench and like, oh, this thing won't lose. Sometimes it won't it get stuck and you got to give a little extra yeah. time. You lose some, use some leverage. Yo, like, yo. Yo. All right, cool. Thank yeah, you. dude. Isn't Thank that nuts, that. though? A little bit, man. What is the craziest, like, instance of surgery you've ever heard about? Uh, I wouldn't say that I've heard about. The worst one that I saw was... uh when I was in school and shit and like the doctor I, all right look man they took like this 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 gun it looked like a gun kind of like a, a blow dryer except it had like a long skinny into it okay and it almost like you, you ever seen like a wire cheese slicer yeah 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 and it kind of had like one of those on the end but electricity came was on like the little wire on it or whatever okay so they knocked the woman out, anesthesia, and then they shoved this thing inside of her uh, vagina body. Yes. Okay. Through, through that orifice. And they proceeded to cauterize the inside of her, 
uterus? The smell <laughs> that arose through the entire room. Well, just. burnt hair ta- smells nasty. I can't imagine what burnt flesh smells like. <laughs> burnt ute, my dude. Burnt, <laughs> burnt ute. <laughs> it was a uterus two cookout. Utes. A uterus cookout. <laughs> they put like, freaking Burger King grill marks on the inside of this what, woman. Like what would like what would need cause that to need to happen? Uh, it's for like uh, like if a woman's having like issues with her uterus, like a lot of times there can be like abnormal bleeding and stuff like that. So and, he's going to like cauterize it all off. Yeah, and that can lead to infection and other issues but uh it and that's not even like the worst part it's like yeah so you're gonna cauterize the inside of this woman uterus but when they started like taking stuff out of her like just i hate to say it but it was like the consistency of like cooked roast beef Oh, oh, because they were just like killing and filleting no! all up in there, dude. See, it like it gives me pins and needles just thinking about it. This that was the worst because the smell was so bad, dude. And the doctors just like making jokes and shit. Nothing disrespectful. Well, right, 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 right. But like but, trying to keep it light. Yeah, dude. Like I've always just been on edge about kind of stuff like that, and he could like see it in me. And, they, and like everybody in the room is laughing at me because I'm just like the green fucking student. That's right, 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 right. And they're just like, oh yeah, I'm just like, just like whipping it around inside <laughs> of her like it's a mixer mixing bowl and just <laughs> ripping out freaking beef jerky from this woman's vagina. And I'm uh, just like, dude, I'm yeah, I'm, okay, I'm good on this. <laughs> You're like, thanks for traumatizing me for life. <laughs> Immediately Note like, to self, never want to work surgery. Yeah, I was <laughs> like, man, maybe this ain't the field for me. <laughs> <laughs> right? I saw a uh, article, actually, that there was this oh. guy. He uh, was in there for, like, I don't know, like a proctology exam or something. something some sort of surgery like that Ooh, where not, they were, like, inside his anus. Knock on wood, we don't need that And there was two soon. people in the room with him, and he assumed they were med students. Come to find out, it was, like, two actors for like a TV show and like he didn't give consent and he ended up like suing the hospital because like they didn't need to be in there. Like it wasn't like it was a medical student issue. It was like a like researching a role for actor issue and they didn't tell him and he just assumed they were doctors, you know, which that Uh, happens all the time. Like I've been in the hospital and they're like, there's just like somebody standing behind me. He's like, Oh, this is Steve. He's a, student and it's like okay cool you know whatever you can't do that yeah like they could have probably got his permission but they didn't and he just assumed they were med students and somehow he found out it was like for some tv show and he sued him and i think he won i mean did he notice the cameras and no no no, they weren't they were just in there researching a role to get Uh like the idea of like what doctors do or whatever would you sue if that happened to you i feel like if you don't it's a missed opportunity and also it kind of just validates that type of behavior. Yeah, and that's the thing, dude. It's like I can like I have the ability but to I, let a lot of shit go. Yeah, but would you be mad? Mad enough to like I would not be like <clears throat> in in you know what? I probably wouldn't be mad. But it but like you said it would be like I could do nothing and probably be okay. But should I prevent them from wanting to do this in the future and sue their ass so they learn their lesson? Yeah, and that fifty thousand dollar check is looking kind of nice, right? Right, dude. And exactly, <laughs> it's like I'm not I'm not a sue you kind of boy. Let's not forget that there's a fifty thousand dollar check. Probably, mo- probably more than that, to be yeah, honest. Honestly, yeah. Yeah, it's um. I mean, hospitals are very much willing to make things go away. Yes. I've never been litigious though, man. I've like, like I've no people who are just like, "Hey, I sued somebody and now I'm good for right. life." Right? Like, wow, wow. And you're like proud enough to like tell that fact, tell everybody, like, "Yeah, I sued someone. I'm set." You're but, like, I mean, but like, are they wrong or are they right? Now I see. I understand. Like, if you weren't at fault in a car accident, suing. The person that was at fault because it changed your life for no reason. All right, you're like, a McDonald's hot coffee lady. That you, you know that story. Yeah. Well, I mean, that's where the whole hot caution hot came from. Yeah. Like it's every time we turn on the hot water, the crazy. Oh, hey, watch out, hot water. <laughs> I could sue you. Yeah. Right. We'll sue the the apartment complex. Yeah. <laughs> the crazy town complex. I don't think they continue our lead. <laughs> They'd be like, you're out. <laughs> oh yeah, yeah. Here's your fifty thousand. Get out. <laughs> It'd be worth it. What? We can find another crazy town compound. Yeah, that's true. That's true. Um, but yeah, dude, I don't. I probably would not have because I would have known the coffee was 
fucking hot, dude. But was she wrong? Kinda. <sighs> That's a little frivolous. Like, who doesn't get hot coffee and think the coffee's hot? All right, so the story is is that back in this was like in the oh 80s, my god, right? this was like yeah, like it was back in late the 80s, eighties, early nineties, something. Uh, coffee cups at McDonald's didn't have anything indicating that the contents were hot, right? But if you're getting coffee, it's fucking hot. It's never not hot. Naturally, somebody spilled coffee on themselves. Like, I'm sure that, honestly, it had happened a hundred thousand times Oh, I'm times sure a before. billion times it's happened. And nobody was just like, you know what? I think I'll sue McDonald's. She won the case. I think she got, like, third degree or second degree burns or something. It was, like, really hot coffee. Like, yeah. it wasn't like she was like, ow, that hurt. I think it, like, literally burnt her. I mean. But still. Yeah. Yeah. I, yeah. I don't know, man. I'm, I'm just trying to think, like, how hot can you get the coffee in a McDonald's coffee? <laughs> right, it, like, it, right, like, and even and even if it's it, even if it's one degree below boiling, by the time it gets in the cup and gets in the car, it's already under two hundred degrees. That's what I'm thinking, like, like I don't know, dude. They're freaking extra sensitive skin ass, <laughs> <laughs> right? All right, but that is all the time we have for today's episode. Please make sure to subscribe to us on YouTube, uh, Crazy Time Media, or on uh, Spotify or iTunes. Tell your friends, tell don't. your hide your friends, hide your wife, hide your grandma, yep, don't and just put us. on the Crazy Town until they. To can't listen anymore. Yep. But for Jonas, TNT Dynamite. We'll catch you on the next one. We are you. out. <laughs>